Welcome to the Inspirational Living Podcast. A special thanks to our newest patron, Charmaine Jennings. Coming up this Sunday, I'll be starting again the series Our Sunday Talks, exclusively for patrons like Charmaine. The first 13 episodes will be a complete reading of my book, The Lord's Prayer for Daily Life, a thought-provoking and non-dogmatic meditation of this beloved prayer. Learn how you can become our patron at livinghour.org slash patron. Thank you. Today's reading was edited and adapted from the writings of Henry Ward Beecher. Hold yourself responsible for a higher standard than anybody else expects of you. Never excuse yourself. Never pity yourself. Be a hard taskmaster to yourself, and be lenient to everybody else. No person can tell you whether they are rich or poor by turning to their bank book. It is in the heart that riches lie. You are rich according to what you are, not according to what you have. If you harbor any sort of fear, it percolates through all your thinking, damages your personality, makes you landlord to a ghost. The art of being happy lies in the power of extracting happiness from common things. We should not judge people by their peak of excellence but by the distance they have traveled from the point where they started. Never forget what someone says to you when they are angry, for that reveals their hidden feelings. Books are not made for furniture, but there is nothing else that so beautifully furnishes a house, a little library, Growing larger every year is an honorable part of a person's history. It is our duty to have books. A library is not a luxury, but one of the necessities of life. Books are the windows through which the soul looks out. A home without books is like a room without windows. Love cannot endure indifference. It needs to be wanted. Like a lamp, it needs to be fed from the oil of another's heart, for its flame burns low. The difference between perseverance and obstinacy is that one often comes from a strong will, and the other from a strong won't. Adversity if for no other reason, is of benefit, since it is sure to bring a season of sober reflection. People see clearer at such times. Storms purify the atmosphere. A person without a sense of humor is like a wagon without springs. They are jolted by every pebble in the road. No person is more cheated than a selfish person. There are more quarrels smothered by just shutting your mouth and holding it shut than by all the wisdom in the world. Young love is a flame, very pretty, often very hot and fierce, but still only light and flickering. The love of the older and disciplined heart is like coal, deep burning and unquenchable. Every artist dips their brush into their own soul and paints their own nature into their pictures. No person is sane who does not know how to be insane on the proper occasion. 
The unthankful heart discovers no mercies, but the thankful heart will find, in every hour, some heavenly blessings. I can forgive, but I cannot forget, it is only another way of saying that I will not forgive. Forgiveness ought to be like a canceled note, torn in two and burned up so that it never can be shown against one. I never knew how to worship until I knew how to love. Of all the music that reaches farthest into heaven, it is the beating of a loving heart. The soul without an imagination is what an observatory would be without a telescope. Every tomorrow has two handles. We can take hold of it with the handle of anxiety or the handle of faith. Gratitude is the fairest blossom which springs from the soul. So beware of pride, for pride slays gratitude. A prideful person is seldom a grateful one for they never think they get as much as they deserve. There are joys which long to be ours. God sends us ten thousand truths, which come about us like birds seeking an inlet, but we are shut up to them, and so they bring us nothing, but sit and sing a while upon our roof, and then fly away. It's easier to go down a hill than up it, but the view is much better at the top. Whatever is almost true is quite false, and among the most dangerous of errors, because being so near truth, it is more likely to lead astray. Greatness lies not in being strong, but in the right using of strength, and strength is not used rightly when it serves only to carry you above your neighbors for your own solitary glory. The greatest person is the one whose strength carries up the most hearts by the attraction of their own. A person that does not know how to be angry does not know how to be good. There is a temperate zone in the mind between luxurious indolence and exacting work, and it is to this region, just between laziness and labor, that summer reading belongs. A book is good company. It is full of conversation without being loquacious. It comes to your longing needs with full instruction but never pursues you. We never know the love of a parent till we become parents ourselves. All words are pegs to hang ideas on. The ability to convert ideas to things is the secret to outward success. The first hour of the morning is the rudder of the day. God asks no one whether they will accept life. That is not a choice. You must take it. The only question is how. No matter how good the walls and the materials are, if the foundations are not strong, the building will not stand. By and by, in some upper room, a crack will appear, and people will say, there is the crack, but the cause is the foundation. So, if in youth, you lay the foundation of your character wrongly, the penalty will be sure to follow. The crack may be far down in old age, but somewhere it will certainly appear. It is not work that kills people, it is worry. 
Work is healthy. Worry is the rust upon the blade. It is not the revolution which destroys the machinery, but the friction. Fear secretes acids, but love and trust are sweet waters. In this world it is not what we take up, but what we give up that makes us rich. Love is the river of life in the world. Compassion will cure more sins than condemnation. Our best successes come after our disappointments. Troubles are simply the tools by which God fashions us for better things. The Inspirational Living Podcast is a production of The Living Hour. Transform your life in 30 days with our Majesty Meditation Program. Our unique auto-suggestion sound method meditation will help you achieve success in every area of your personal and professional life. Learn more at livinghour.org slash majesty. To get 30% off the $11.99 purchase price, use the coupon code INSPIRATION. Thanks for listening. I look forward to talking with you next time.